All right, so now we're going to uh, use what we know about complex numbers to come up with complex solutions to quadratic equations. Uh, so all of a sudden we're going to introduce equal signs into everything that we've done so far. Remembering that the square root of negative a is the same thing as saying root a and then putting an i on the end. So i stands for the negative under the square root. Okay. So let's take a look here. The first one's written out already. Negative th square root of 3 times the square root of negative 12. We replace that here and say square root of 3 i. And we put the i in there instead of the square root. Same thing for the 12. All right, we'll go ahead and multiply this out. We're going to multiply the square root parts together. 3 times the 12. And we'll also have i times i. 3 times 12 is 36. i times i is i squared. The square root of 36 is 6. i squared is negative 1. And so we'll get negative 6. On these problems, when we do the square root, we're going to take the positive answer. And so we'll end up with positive 6 times negative 1. We'll get negative 6. Taking a look at b, let's take out our i's first. 48i minus the square root of 27i. All right, let's see if we can break down 48 and 27 at all. 48 is 16 times 3. 27 is 9 times 3. And so we can pull out some perfect squares, 4 root 3. And the way we write this, actually, we put the i out in front. Just one of those things like saying 4x instead of x4. It's just the way we write it. So 4i root 3 minus 3i. The square root of 9 is 3. And we still have a 3 underneath. All right, so we can go ahead and clean this up. 4i minus 3i is 1i square root. Three. All right, last one we'll look at here. We're going, we're going to FOIL. Negative 1 plus root 3i times itself. So we'll have negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 minus root 3i minus root 3i. And then at the end, we'll have plus 3i squared. Let's go ahead and clean this up. We'll have 1 minus 2i root 3 minus 3. And so this is negative 2 minus 2i root 3. Or we can pull out that negative 2 and say 1 plus i root 3 or root 3i. Go ahead and try one for yourself. Let's try 63. All right, answer here. We're going to pull out the i first. So we'll get root 6i times root 2i. Root 6 times root 2 is root 12. And we'll get i squared. So. One last thing we need to do is recognize that 12 can be broken down. So we'll get 2 root 3 times it by a negative. We'll put the negative out front. 